We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Minnesota Twins. Into the box, Leori Garcia. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. 1 1 is looked at for ball number two. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Lifetime against Jose Barrios. He has seven hits in 27 at bats. He also has one home run. Very high, two and one. To two and two now. Three and two now. Full count. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he'll get in there safely. Out in third. The shortstop. Tim Anderson. To the plate now, Tim Anderson hit pretty well out toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. It's over his head, and they're going to take the lead. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. That is four. The left fielder, Eloy Jimenez. At the plate now, Eloy Jimenez. And that one finds the target on the outside corner, two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Takes this the other way to right. That's in there. Base hit. Battle fifth. The first base hit, number 23. Edwin. Into the box now. Edwin Encarnacion. Here's a swing, and oh, man. Way out of here. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly. Just like that, they take the lead. Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Into the box, Nomar Mazzara. Hit back toward the mound. Reined in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Up next for Chicago, Yosmani Grandal. He's the eighth man to bat here in the first with five runs already up on the scoreboard. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Homer Bailey comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first Homer. inning. Bailey. Standing in now, Danny Mendick. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. 
Striding into the box, Luisa Reyes. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed strike three. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Fastball in there, three and two. It's gonna be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Popped him up. Moncada shading to his right, and that's the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He drove in one of his team's two runs in yesterday's game. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The designated hitter, Miguel. Now the 2 1 pitch. Come on. Here we go. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go. Ready now for the White Sox. Leori Garcia. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Is a sinker that dips below the zone for a ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So here's Yohan Moncada. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Rosario, and it's gone as they add still another. to the plate now Tim Anderson chopped at third fielded cleanly and that's the second out now stepping up now Emo Jimenez he reached on a single in his first try a ball and two strikes here's the pitch and he'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside in a full count, three and two. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he tucks out a wall. Number 23, Edwin Encarnacion. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. The next twin up, Josh Donaldson. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. In now, Mitch Garver. Ground ball foul down the left side. 2-2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. High and deep down the left field line. And that's going to land foul. 
He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. In the air to straightaway right. Headed after it is Mazzara. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Digging in, Eddie Rosario. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. One out, nobody on. And there's ball two now. All even now, two and two. And it's fouled away. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put-away stuff. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. At the plate now, Max Kepler. Full count to Max Kepler, three balls and two strikes. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Into the box now, Byron Buxton. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Hit on the ground toward the left. Is through in the left field, a base hit. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Stepping in now, Luis Arias. Swing and a liner. And that's in there, base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. And this one gets away. And that is going to cost him a run as he'll scamper home on the wild pitch. Three runs already home here. Ripped on the ground to first. And the tag gets him. But a run is in to score away from the play. Up next for Minnesota, Nelson Cruz reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Now the 2-1 pitch doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat-footed for much longer. Swing and a miss. Good pitch, and it's full now, three and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Garcia is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Next will be the designated hitter, Jose Abreu. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Line towards center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. The 1-1. One -one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Two two. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Lifted the other way down the left field line. 
chasing after it is Rosario and they can't run it down the next three two liner toward right center Buxton will range to his left and put it away two down So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Yasmani Grandal. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Leading off the inning, Miguel Sano, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. I think getting the leadoff man in every inning is important as a pitcher. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. The third baseman, number 24. To play now, Josh Donaldson. He stays alive, still two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Mitch Garver is on deck. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Standing in, Mitch Garver. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 2 misses for the second ball. Full count, 3 and 2. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And he takes strike 3 called on the fastball, one gun. The 1-1. One, one. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. To Encarnacion, who's got it. And that retires the side. New inning set to get underway. Coming to the plate now, Danny Mendick. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Arise. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup now and stepping in, Leori Garcia. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Montana. The 1-1. One, one. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Ooh, up and in. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Swings through it for strike number two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Jimenez is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. 
And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. A hit in two tries so far. And now for the second batter in a row. This is in the air out to left field. Jimenez has got it, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He's one for two with an RBI double back in the first inning of this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Now the 2 1 pitch is off the plate up and away. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3 and 1, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. At the plate, Edwin Encarnacion. The bouncer to the left side. And there are two away now. So here's Jose Breyer, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Jose Abreu. On the ground to the left side. Donaldson's there. Throw in time and the side is retired. At the plate, Jorge Polanco. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 2 1 home is laid off of for ball number three. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Hopped up. Moncada is calling for it. One down. Here's Nelson Cruz now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Miguel Sano, a hit in two tries for him so far. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready for another shot now. Nomar Mazzara. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Full count now. Three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in once again, Yosemite Grandal. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And there's out number two. Ready once now again, that. Danny Mendick. It was a fly Danny. out for him in his last Mendick. trip. Two out, nobody on. 
And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Leori Garcia. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here now the 2-2 is taken, ball three. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. He pulls this one into right. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Dylan Cease enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 84, Dylan. Josh Donaldson digging in now. He's set to lead it off in the Minnesota end of the sixth. Drives it out to deep right center field. Mazzara's on the move. He's there and records the first down. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 2 1. It's a swinging strike, a little late on the fastball that time. Boy, he center cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now the 2 1 pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Fouled off. Good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. Looking up is Jimenez, and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. The plate now, Max Kepler. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 3 1 count, tie run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on 3 and 1. Mazzara will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Tyler Duffy is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll into the box now. Yohan Moncada. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Here now the 2-2. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Into the box now, Tim Anderson. And it's two balls and a strike for Tim Anderson. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old flea sack and climb the ladder. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Moncada leads off second with one gun in the inning. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Encarnacion. 1 1. Strike two swinging. Popped him up. Kepler moving to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. 
So two away here is the Sox bat in the seventh. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. A ball and two strikes. A swing and a miss on the ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Here's Byron Buxton now. He's one for two in the ball game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Bases are empty, one man out. Louis. Oh, yeah. To first. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. The 1 1 home. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And Encarnacion will take this to the bag, and the inning is over. Sergio Romo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 54. And now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch, right? But that one was so low. I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping up to the plate, Yosmani Grandal. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Who loves hitting left handed off of right handed pitchers, hitting over 300 against right handed pitching. Grandal with a three and one count now. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Stepping into the box, Danny Mendick. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the 3-2. Full count still. He's set. Here's the three and two. Hit on the ground is short. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Alex Colomay will come on in relief now as he'll make his tenth appearance of the season. Now at the plate, Nelson Cruz, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Here now the 2 2. Fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Bounce towards the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. He went down on strikes last time up. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Here now the 2-2. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. 
Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's the, the third, third baseman, baseman, Josh Donaldson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 1-1. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder going back. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So now to the plate, Mitch Garver. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game is on. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in. Leori Garcia struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now a flare out toward right center. Arrives, backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Johan Moncada. And if you've been following along, you know he needs only the single to complete a cycle. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Hit hard toward the right side. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Aaron Bummer, if the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Number 39. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie Rosario. He's two for three and looking for more here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielder. And this is through into right field, so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Now that, the first base player. In now, Max Kepler. A two-ball, one-strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Bummer has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Tying and winning runs are on here with nobody out. And a 2-2 sinker falls in there. Three and two now. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Line drive to left. And that gets down. 
This is going to tie the game and maybe even win it. Rosario isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate. It's now a 7-7 seven seven game. Jay Spry comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Stepping in now, Luis Arias can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Fry is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. And this is fouled at the plate. Ready with another two-strike offering. Now a fly ball, but far too shallow to get that run in. Jimenez has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And the Twins are going to walk home a winner. That's what you call doing your job, folks. He knew he just needed to lift one to the outfield, and that's just what he did. Hey, a walk-off sack fly isn't as dramatic as a game-winning hit, but it's just as effective. Great team win right there. And they did some damage offensively in this one, enough to get the win, and this man led the charge. He's our top player of the game. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. One run finish, an 8-7 to seven game tonight. Minnesota came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Sergio Romo claims the win out of the pen his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious win, eight runs, ten hits, no errors, they left four men on base. For the White Sox, seven runs on nine hits, no errors, they left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.